Hello, and welcome to the craziest hour on planet Earth, which is always the present moment as more and more insanity continues to unfold. I hope that you all are having a happy holiday season out there. I wanted to pop on and share a little bit about some of the transhumanist bullschnitzel that's going on, and that will continue to go on. <sighs> PSA, number one, having a phone in your hand is not the same thing as having a chip in your brain. Those are very, very different things. One is a piece of crystalline technology that you can choose to put down. And another is something that will likely integrate with your consciousness and have a completely different effect. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about, this may seem like a little bit all over the place, but I just had a conversation with a dear friend who was open to the idea of putting a chip in their brain, open to the idea of mixed reality and didn't really see a clear defining line between the phone that we hold in our hand and putting something in our body. What is so important to understand right now is that we are in the most materialized form that we can possibly be. We have spent a long time coming to this place of materialization and now we are in the spiritualization arc that's for our time meaning that we are meant to spiritualize these bodies so when you hear people talking about and I've even posted stuff about the re-spiritualization of matter that's what we're talking about we're talking about being in the spiritualizing arc because if you think of it like an upside down bell curve, we come down into physical matter, we're in the most materialized form. And now we're spiritualizing that form and literally ascending. That's why you hear people talk about ascension. When you start adding minerals, density to an organic body, when you start messing with the DNA, you mess with the trajectory of that line. You mess with the life wave. Because when you look at the nature of this technology, it is not balanced. It's left-brained. It's one-sided. It is materialization. That's one form. Technology is not necessarily bad, but masters, true masters, don't need technology. You are technology. So you can see how this becomes a diversion from us actualizing ourselves as the technology. And this hyper materializing force, which by the way, is going to play off of your ego. It's going to play off of the parts of you that want access to the Akashic records. But here's what's to remember. The Akashic records that you're going to get from this artificial reality is only what is accessible to humans. It's it what it, what is AI? What other than all of our fucking thousands of data points collecting that's human made. That is not the Akashic records. That is not the full read. So you're actually literally trapping yourself further and further and further into a materialistic, hyper dense form, which is the impulse of another time. So to not recognize what time we are currently in is to fail the initiation. 
And this is why dark occult things or black magic or whatever forces are using the previous epoch's impulse will always die, will always lose. Expansion of consciousness, the majority of source consciousness has already decided that that's what it's doing, which is why anything that is going to not connect in with the whole is going to fracture and fragment and fall apart. So what does that mean for you or I? <laughs> if you don't want to fracture and continue to fracture, then don't go in that direction. Don't add density to your body. And, okay, hold on. So I'll say a little bit more about being out of time with magic and things like that so through like gg young's work she talks about <clears throat> which is really steiner's work and her recapitulating steiner's work she talks about um the harmonic impulse which is comes from the zoroastrian tradition and that is the transhumanist impulse that is that hyper materializing force and you know here's the thing i guess this is probably what i was trying to get at earlier is that this exploits the unintegrated ego or the negative ego or the lower aspects of our identity that we haven't yet integrated. Because we have this desire, and I, I guess here's the thing is, we can't make this desire wrong. Like in that Wings video that I put out and I got all that hate on TikTok about because as my friend pointed out, people, they want the wings. So we can't make the desire wrong and turn against that. When you do, they're going to turn against you. So we have this desire to expand, to have access to the Akashic Records, to have access to all that is, and to be able to activate our superpowers. That's not wrong. That's actually in your body and in your being because you're meant to actualize that. But you're, we're all being given a choice as to are, are you going to be lured into thinking that you've actualized that without the true initiation because you don't get the ability to see clearly into the Akashic records you don't get the ability to um, you know you don't get your cosmic citizenship through popping it on Every single person who has activated those qualities and trained those qualities within themselves for lifetimes have done so through the very fire of the physicalizing process, this initiation that we're all in. So you don't bypass that and just pop on some wings and just put yourself in an AI reality where you suddenly have those abilities. Do you see the danger in that? Because we are at a time on this planet where the frequencies for that ascent, we are in the time of ascension. So people are going to mistake that as the real ascension if they don't have the discernment to go, oh, wait a minute. This is a false version of what I'm actually meant to actualize. And this is playing on that subconscious knowing that I have, that I am meant to actualize this. That's what we have to become aware of. And the other thing that I want to say, and I actually heard Gigi talk about this, and I got a real life example through the conversation that I had with this friend that inspired this conversation, and I welcome by the way, a conversation that grates me or that um, shocks my being because it's what allows me to show up as a teacher and go, wow, I'm glad I'm not in a fucking echo chamber because I know what's really going on out there. And then we can talk about this stuff and go, okay, let's not be desensitized because it's not about staying in an activated state but it's about recognizing how we are being consistently desensitized. I know that you've had somebody send you a video and you've gone, 
oh my god I literally can't even watch this like even if it's the most compelling piece of information that's going to finally tell me something that I didn't know I can't possibly process one more piece of information but we also have to be aware of these things and not be desensitized by them step away when we need to um because it's it's important to not lose the fucking plot here <laughs> okay we don't want to lose the fucking plot guys because <laughs> a lot is still happening we don't want to fall back asleep so this idea and this is luciferian this idea is that well if human beings created ai if I have the desire, or if my neighbor has the desire, or if, you know, we have the desire to merge with technology, then maybe this is just a part of our life mission. This is a part of our purpose. This is a part of my consciousness expansion. Everything is good. Everything is pure. Everything is from God. Everything is holy. And everything just is. very very seductive we have to be careful with that because not everything is holy and pure and and actually we're given this free will and this discernment for a reason to be able to go mm, now wait a minute now wait just a fucking minute if you come up with if, if you cause a problem and then the solution that you offer actually isn't really a solution at all but is a total money-making scheme that's actually causes more problems but oh wait no hold on then you're gonna give us another solution which is another money-making scheme which is also not going to actually create any fucking real uh, yeah, you get the point. That's the fucking cycle. So what I'm realizing is that people from my generation are the people who are going to actualize the codes, embody the codes. My parents' generation, and my parents are not that old. My parents' generation and my grandparents. Low battery. I literally had a conversation with my grandparents that was, or not my grandparents, sorry, my parents, my mom and my stepdad. And my mom was like, yeah, like you're probably gonna actualize this and we're not. I'm like, you have all of the information that you could possibly need to excel as a human being, to be a refined human being, to refine your consciousness. You have all the resources, you have all the information, you have all the knowledge at your fingertips, you have literally everything that you could ever need and you're not going to embody it. And it's like, yup. And that is because that is not that generation. That is not what they're doing. We came in, if you're of my generation, you came in through them to actualize this. And you know, I think there's some wiggle room there. We definitely have some wiggle room with that <laughs> we have some people i have some friends that i know are like 50 and they're like i feel like i was born early i was a trailblazer a real real trailblazer because here's the thing guys as much as i don't like this mentality of like there's not that many of us here like there's not <laughs> there's not there's not <laughs> there's not that many of us here but we are here to connect with each other, to find each other, and to settle in and really learn how to have relationships and to find that tribe. Because I promise that you did not come here to be the black sheep of your family, to make no sense to the people around you, to just continue to make no sense to the world. You are a gift. You are like a tool. And that tool, and not like a fucking tool tool, like you're a tool that's being sharpened. And if you sharpen yourself, you will be utilized in the highest forms and in the highest spaces. So to go back to what I was saying, everything is not holy. Everything is not fucking pure. That is not the case. Um, 
we are here as consciousness itself discerning what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. And if we just fall into the trap of like, yeah, man, this is just all for my highest expansion. And like, if I just need to put a chip in my brain and if I just need to take four jabs and be assimilated into the matrix, then maybe that's my highest purpose. And you know what? The reality is that that is going to happen. We're going to see babies born in fucking pods, which by the way, removes the feminine, removes the ensoulment process, removes this is this is what happens in every major epoch is that there is a split and i'm telling you that you know if you're watching this you are on the side of the people who are moving with the christ consciousness you're moving with the ascension whoever is still holding on to all of the things that i've spoken about in this video they are holding on to something that is dying and fracturing and it's not of this time. They will have to continue to incarnate on this planet until they are finished with that. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Boo sauce. I was really contemplating within myself, you know, because I heard 60, what was it? It's like six years ago. I had a dream, I picked up this little newborn baby, poolside, feminine, water, makes sense, and this little baby whispered in my ear, this is your last life, and I was like, what the fuck, <laughs> this was like pre-awakening, pre-awakening, awakening, but I was like pretty much woke kind of my whole life, but like probably like five different awakenings, I'm sure they're still coming, but and I, so I've struggled with that, like if this, this last life and just really feeling like this is my last life. And I've been speaking to some, some tribe people lately. Chris is one of them from peaceful human advancement. And I'm just feeling like if you remove time from the equation, all of the wisdom that was here for us, to pick up, whether it's pick up on the, in the fields, energetically, through just a tuning in, whether it's through teachers or texts and piecing things together, we, these are our past versions of ourselves which have provided pathways for us to rise. And what we are doing now even me creating this broadcast is an example of leaving something for what is to come. And even if there's no digital trace of you, the energy, just like Christ, right? Which is what we're, tr we're, we're working to embody <laughs> humbly. That is a vehicle. That is a pathway of the inner planes. That is a, that is a way home. And we don't even necessarily have to be here to offer that to all of humanity. Because I think those of us who have continued to come back here many, many times feel a great deal of empathy and love for humanity. Even though sometimes we want to, you know, kill each other and <laughs> sometimes we hate humanity. Even though we are that. But... Yeah, my sense is that um, there will be many of us that will probably move on because there are going to be a lot of reincarnations happening and a lot of, uh, you know, just expansion. A lot of expansion happening. <laughs> we can be of assistance elsewhere. Um, mm -hmm, let me see if there was anything else that I wanted to add. So I think I said everything that I wanted to say. I'm not even going to recap that shit. I'm not even going to recap your ass because you can just soak it up. What's there was there. Um, I hope you have a merry, merry Christmas or Hanukkah or maybe you don't celebrate, whatever. But um, Free Orbit Farm, wait, I just want to read this before I go. 
Genius is making complex ideas simple, not making simple ideas complex. Or, <laughs> I'm always like challenging people. That's beautiful though. Albert, maybe Albert Einstein, I don't know. Yes, that's lovely. Genius is also your original blueprint. That is your genius. And sometimes the genius is to make something simple, complex. Because in making it complex, you somehow understand it in a different way. And of course, there is an art to making that which is complex simple. Because you become a bridge which transforms and transcends 